What's up, guys? In this video, we are going to be answering juicy questions about our relationship, y'all. You guys got dirty. Like, whoa. The ones I chose, I was like, let's just keep it a little spicy. And I don't know it. why, but uh, it makes it fun. I'm ready. I'm ready to let you guys and we're end our lives. A little answer bit. to the best of our abilities without making this a rated R video. You guys, guys, stay ready because probably I'm so giddy. in the next two videos, whole channel, in our next couple of videos that come out, you guys are going to see. Change. The whole channel is going to change. Yeah, so if you guys are new here, um, you're going to want to subscribe and uh, let's kind of get this video to 2,000 likes, guys. For the surprise, yeah. and I know you guys like these you type of videos, so hit that like button. Let's try to get to 2,000 likes. I've been freaking out like every day. Hunter has to deal with his crazy I'm, we, We're so giddy. Like, oh my god. Every time you we guys like, think about it or we talk about it, has it's anybody like, Has anybody come? Oh. You guys don't even know then. Ah! I'm so excited. All right. Well, we are going to start with juicy question number one. What's the craziest thing we've ever done together? How deep we trying to go here? Uh, kid, you know what? I know this. I couldn't tell if this was like a sexual question or one that's literally what's the craziest thing we've ever done together. And so I straight away thought to when we were snorkeling with the bull shark on accident. Oh, we were just literally just out in the ocean and there was like an eight foot bull shark. Yeah, that came maybe eight feet away like, from me. Then you're face to face with Libby. And I was like, I feel like that's like the craziest, most adrenaline I've ever felt in my entire life. So I felt like that would be the craziest thing we've ever done together. Nah, yeah. So I didn't even see the shark, but like, I was, saw my reaction. I was underwater looking the other way and I pop up and I just hear screams and I see Libby just taking off to the beach. I, like absolutely screaming and I'm like sitting there like probably 20 feet from the shark just like What's going on? Gosh, babe, where are you going? Like Why are you here? shaking, guys. It was <laughs> insane. I think I still have the footage. Oh, sorry. That's my personal thought of what's the craziest thing we've ever done together. The other thing would be like um, doing some exploring in a natural, a national park, <laughs> doing. Doing some exploring in a national park while also exploring each other. <laughs> <laughs> if we're going that way, yeah, that was ballsy. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying like... Somebody asked that question though. Too. Take, take that as you wish. <laughs> yeah, but that was pretty crazy too. But yeah, I guess another thing I would say is traveling to different places to live as much as we have is pretty freaking crazy this early in a relationship. Our relationship, I think we've spent... So we've been together almost four years. Libby counts it almost four years. We like talked without officially being yeah. a couple for date. like five months. But every year we've been together, it's different state. Been a different state. It's been Wisconsin, Indiana, New York, and now Florida. That's crazy. Nuts. It's gonna be back to back years in Florida, though, right? Yeah, so true. <laughs> That's so it. true. We love it so much, you guys. It's Shout out such to all my vibe. fellow Floridians out there. Such a vibe. All right, number two. Libby, do you ever play footsie with Hunter? And can I say something so funny about this? I'm not a fan. I do. When I'm falling asleep. More than she even realizes. Or we're yeah. laying in bed, I love to move my feet. Like, I don't know if it relaxes me. Comment down below if you do this too. Like, do you move your feet in your sleep or when you're about to fall asleep? And look, I'll rub. Okay. Look, look, look. Get, she's doing it right now. Get your foot off me. I don't like that, it all right? She did this last night, and she's doing it right now. She doesn't even realize. Like, <laughs> no. she'll like brush my foot like like I'm an animal or something with her foot, and I like slow like without trying to be too rude. I like inch away, and then Libby's like coming after me. And I'm like, what are you doing? I'm trying to get away without being without straight up telling you get the frick off. It me. makes me comfortable. <laughs> Sometimes you let me do it. I do, I do. Because he's. It really depends like, on my mood. If I'm like anxious, I'll do it. Like it's like a calming thing. It's so weird. I got that from my dad. Weird yes, the answer trait. Is yes, Louis plays footsie all the time. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not always the biggest fan of it. Okay, number three. Have you ever been caught doing the nasty in public? Ah. Which no. Nah, we we keep it. We're pretty good about covering our tracks. Well, the thing is, we don't clean. really do it that often in public because that's just scary to me. Yeah. The one time was what he kind of already spilled, which was like 
We were both. No, like, that was lucky. That was scary, though. Like, there was families and a bunch of like people that like go through. Okay, that oh, park. Well, okay. Before we go too far into it, if this if this video somehow gets like four thousand likes, then we'll tell the story. Oh. It involves just like a national park and some very sketchiness. It was just not around. smart. And what's so funny is this place was right by your house. Okay, well let's not keep. Going into detail about it because we're not gonna talk about it. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Okay, this is so funny. Oh my gosh. That's so, so funny. Pretty much you they sound said, like Lilo and Stitch. Well, my name is Lilo and Stitch. I'm pretty good at it. Oh, Stitch. Or, my name's Stitch. Oh, yeah. I'm a Hannah Moon's family. No. That was so good. Oh, Hannah means family. Okay, who broke the silence? That means like who farted first in the relationship to like break the barriers because now we fart all the time. All the time. So I think. I don't remember the exact moment, but I know it had to be me. I know. It had to I be I don't me. think I had the guts to do that back then. Like now I'm very loud and proud, but like. Do you remember how long it took us to like. It had to have been a it? while because we were very different people back then. Like, we were very, like, trying to be, like, so perfect. You know those first couple days where you, like, you see somebody and you go home and you, like, you walk back into your house and you got the biggest belly ache because you've been sucking in farts for so long and then you just <laughs> let loose as soon as you walk through that door? <laughs> I know that was definitely me our first couple of days, but I feel like... After a couple months, yeah, I was like, it had to have been. Let's just break the silence. Let's just let it. And it's so funny. It's like I'm always been a person who doesn't give a crap. So when I started dating him, I was like, this is so not me to like not fart. But I didn't want him to think I was gross. And now Libby's like trying to outdo me and like just absolutely blowing my head off with farts. <laughs> you little nasty. Yes. Why are you high fiving me? Like that's <laughs> awesome. Oh, I'm gonna put this in our video. I pranked Hunter yesterday by putting a fart sound on in the bed. Oh my, that's actually so funny. Yeah. That, that was literally yesterday. And like, guys, it's so funny. Like, he freaked out. And that's what's so funny is every Gosh. time I do fart, he literally loses it. You want to snuggle? Yeah, baby, I want to snuggle, baby. Get in the covers, get in the covers. Oh, my stomach. <laughs> Go, go. What? Go, go to the bathroom. You just started your. Go. So get in the shower. You need to seriously get in the shower and bathe. Get out. Get, get out. Get out of my room. Get. I. I. Get. What is wrong with you? Not kidding. Like I thought Libby was actually like sharding her pants. So I was like prepared to like go sleep in the car. I'm not kidding because I was genuinely concerned about the noises that I thought were coming out of her. It was so funny, but I will put that video in here. Oh this my video. god. It's also like really TMI juicy, but they asked if we've ever tried to have a baby. No, we haven't tried. We don't want a child right now. I mean, many people don't try to have a baby and have a baby. That's me. That's the outcome of me. So no, we're not trying to have a baby, but we are doing the yeah where was yours and Libby's first kiss I know do you know <gasps> oh I I didn't know if we put the hot seeds this all you didn't want me to see the questions no I just you have to know think you oh I, I, I know did this. It. okay I just I had a little panic all right because okay, you knows. put me in the hot seat real quick okay <laughs> I know what it is it's it was in the basement yeah literally on our first date. He was giving me a tour of the house. And you guys wanna know something crazy? I didn't even initiate it. This girl was like a freaking cougar. I'm Scott Maddis, live at spottings of a cougar. Not it, that looks like a house cat. <laughs> she came at me like you were just about to pounce on me. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah, I was just trying to show you my house, you know. You just liked it. Be a gentleman, like it. just showing her around. Because I was like, then at I was the like, end oh, of the night, who initiated the kissing? I mean, yeah. That was after like a few drinks, and, you know. Oh, so you're saying you need drinks fun. to kiss me? No, but I'm just saying. But you already gave me the green light once you tried to kiss me the first time, so I was like, okay. For sure. We're in business. Makes <laughs> me want to kiss you right now. 
<laughs> but yeah, that's exactly it. That's the first time we ever kissed. Yeah, so I got that right, you know. Good job. Just a quick sweat. I'm, I'm alright. Yeah, you freaked out. I'm like, he knows this. I do. I just, so... I just had to lock, like, lock in and think about it. Yeah, good job. If you guys are still watching to this point in the video, go comment the words juicy down below and you guys will realize soon in the near future what significance that has. But yeah, comment the word juicy down below. Go comment it down below. How, this is very juicy. How often do we do it? Yeah. Give me some. <laughs> About four times a day, right? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? You wish that? Depends like how busy we are and tired. Working out makes you so tired. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me just uh let me just give you guys a little background. Right? right now, if I move any part of my body, I am just so <laughs> freaking sore my body is killing me so that's what i'm saying though it depends on how fatigued we are so yeah we work out a lot so kind of that plays a role in you know the whole wanting to attracted you 24 7 i'm definitely the one who initiates it i feel like okay well let's not say definitely what are you talking about this whole definitely thing like <laughs> i'm being a turd but no they're asking how much it depends you never know. Guys, I think she's like trying to low key tell me something. It depends on the week and how tired we are or if we're spending time with his family because if we're with his family, that ain't gonna happen. Why and not? we're with my family, that I'm ain't gonna sorry. happen. <laughs> but yeah, that's my answer. I can't give you a specific number. Sorry about it. Okay, this is also a good question, but they asked, what is your opinion about it before marriage? Hey, I say. Respect. If you feel like you are with the right person and you have that real intimate connection and you want to spend the rest of your life with that person. Yeah. Hey, I say get to it. <laughs> I feel like I have a better mindset. <laughs> oh, well, okay, but okay. Okay. Well, let me let me backtrack a little bit, okay? okay? I I know I just said if you feel like you're going to spend the rest of your life with that person, I have to take that back because I still did the dirty with some other women that I did not think I was gonna spend the rest of my life with. But, okay, that's the part of growing and maturing as a person. Yeah. You have to experience things that, in, in order to learn what you want in the future. And because I went through those things and explored those other holes. <laughs> OMG! Oh my. I now found that like, this is what I love. Like, this is my yum, this is my yum. Okay, now my two cents. So, personally, I think people who do wait are amazing. I think that is such a cool... Oh yeah, I was not trying to take away from that yeah, at like, all. Yeah, that I, is freaking I have full amazing. Respect. amazing. But yeah. the problem with me, why I don't agree with it for myself, is because intimacy is such an important part of relationship for me that I felt like if you, let's say you wait and it doesn't work out and it just doesn't feel natural, like that's just really scary to me. So I personally don't wait, but I am I am a Christian. Like I believe in God. I'm very like close to God. We both are, yeah. And I don't think either way makes you a bad person or a good person, but I think people who do it, like good for you. Like it's a, it helps I, you with um, what is part of you that learns how to be disciplined, which is such an amazing quality to have. He asked, what's your favorite outfit that I wear? Or like, do you like me in workout clothes? Do you like me in swimsuits? Do you like me in like, what do you like me in? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> no, pick something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious, like, what is your favorite? Do you like me in skirts, dresses? Oh, like my thing is like, if I could see you in lingerie, yeah. Every time I looked at you, it'd be like, Oh, yeah. Yeah. What about like clothing wise, though? Because they're like, Do you like me in a specific thing? Like jeans and a crop top, swimsuit, like dresses? Um, you look really cute in dresses, but when I see you in like a nice, like, like some workout shorts, you know, with the scrunch butts. Yeah. You're just hiking up the dumpy a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> that was my favorite. Oh, I wear that a that, lot, yeah. so that's good. Livy lives like we both live in workout clothes, so when I see we that, do. I'm like, it's just dang, my, girl, my girlfriend is sassy. I love you sassy. so much. Guys, if you're still here, don't forget to comment the word juicy. Stay tuned for some super exciting news coming to the channel. Give me some. <laughs>
so excited. We love you guys so much. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.